How's it going everybody? So today we have a little bit of a technical video for those that are setting up their OBS studio to some degree and they really want to perform a very specific task of having the uh, background music playing while they talk and there is also this very little thing that you might notice in the radio you can kind of talk and the music would go down automatically but when you are quiet then the music would just uh, pick up in a specific uh, time range and immediately when the radio broadcaster starts talking again it would just go down so there is an automation that you can do and obs supports it fully so what do we have right now in terms of setup right now i'm actually listening to some kind of a stream from uh, soundcloud lo-fi hip-hop something for anime I, I i don't know i don't know what it is but it's just i hear it you you're not and the point is if i go all the way up like this there is quite a lot of music there and I, if I would be talking you would not hear me so let's give it a ramp up you'll, you'll see that I, gradually you're not able to hear me like here but when I put it somewhere here at uh, the very bottom of it somewhere there probably you can hear it so what can I do in order to make it loud when I'm quiet and on this you know, this specific level when I'm uh, when I'm talking. So this is exactly what we're going to do. I'm going to go to filters for the desktop audio channel, this one, and I'm going to click, click on plus and I'll add the compressor. All right. So what the compressor does, let me resize it so you'll see what's going on with the um, with the audio levels over here. Basically compressor takes the audio and it says, well, on a specific threshold, some uh, threshold of, of loudness, I'll just, whatever surpasses the threshold, we'll, I will just bring it down, okay? And then if we want uh, to, to make it loud again, we'll just uh, adjust the output gain. So basically it will remove all of the quiet, uh, sorry, all the loud parts, if they will stop being loud, they will be normal again. And uh, basically all of the loud parts would be quiet again and the quiet parts would not be affected. There is a way to affect the quiet parts, but basically the, the uh, difference between them would be lower and then using the output gain, you actually will uh, make it loud again, but now the levels are squished, quashed, right? Something like that. I don't know what the right word for it. So when I talk right here, right now, what you see is that uh, the music is... Uh, just plays out and I can, I can, for example, create a super high, high gain and you see it just goes up. Or for example, I can, I can apply some, some kind of compression and then it would be just on the same loudness level. But the, the important part is this, side chain and docking. Here we specify using what sound on a side, some other channel, what channel can we use in order to implement this compression? So it kind of adds a little bit of a uh, mix up. So it, without this side chain thing, it would just listen to the audio channel itself and then it would make the loud parts quieter and, and that's about it. But here it would be using a side chain, which is part of the music uh, software development thing, uh, DAW software uh, kind of a uh, terminology or basically ducking source. What should be it should it, what should it be ducking when it performs uh, this uh, compression, right? And we say, well, I want you to duck the, the guy that speaks. So for example, if I raise a little bit the volume over here, you see it goes too, too, uh, too high over here. I'm not even sure how can you hear me, but I'll go with the threshold and say, well, you know, the threshold for it should be somewhere lower. I'm going to play with it and basically using visual cues around this uh, sector over here, minus 45. That's where I want to stop it normally when I speak, right? So here I am speaking and it goes uh, around uh, minus 50. And when I stop speaking, it goes way up. Okay, so uh, I don't want to uh, make the volume that low from this perspective. So I'll go up a little bit here, uh, a little bit more. And I see that now when I'm quiet, 
it climbs up quite a bit but when i'm uh, talking it climbs down it goes down uh, very fast and actually uh, to me it looks like it goes down too too low so i'm going to increase the threshold over here and now I, when i talk and it's around minus 50 and when i'm quiet it goes all the way here to, uh, to the health. So probably I'll go up a little bit further, up until I reach this threshold over here. It sounds like music that would not hurt your ears all of a sudden. And when I speak, it should be going down, which it does not right now. So I'll just squash it a little bit more over here. And now when I talk, you see it just goes down to this specific level. Now, there is a problem. And the problem is, Let's put it. Let's make it all quiet. So the problem is that it just plays too too strong, too hard, too fast. You know, I'm just playing with it. I'm talking to to you, and you just hear my voice, and then it's switched immediately to the desktop audio and back and forth. You can you are not able to make sense out of what you're about to hear, right? So this is why I put the output gain to zero. But now what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to play with attack and release. Attack and release is the speed in which uh, the compressor reacts, right? So the attack of minus six milliseconds or six milliseconds basically means that when uh, when you hear a new sound from the side chain in this specific, uh, from the, my headphone in this specific uh, example, then after six milliseconds, start lowering the volume. But the release is when the effect ends. So when I stop talking, it gives itself 60 milliseconds, just 60 milliseconds to continue with the same behavior and then the volume will go up but when we speak there are pauses right and the pauses are much longer than 60 milliseconds so i'm going to play with the release which would allow the volume not to return to the full volume that fast so if i'm making a <gasps> sound or something or i'm just taking up a gasp of air or drinking water it wouldn't just go all the way up it wouldn't shoot into your ear immediately it would release quite uh, slowly so we'll go over here and we're going to say zero and here we start so here's the music here i am talking and i want to play with the release right now it's 60 milliseconds i want the release to be maybe half a second so when i talk okay the music paused for a second we're playing next track okay so when i stop talking Here it goes up and now I to start talking, it goes down and stays like this. But now I'm pausing again. And it, it was too fast actually, it was too fast because I just took a normal breath uh, of air and just was... So I'm going to put it on around 900 maybe. So now when I return talking to you, yeah, it would make a little bit more a little bit more sense so th this is it this is how we do it so now i'll just close it and that's it it's configured this is the normal volume of the music when i'm not talking and when i start talking it would just start ducking or it would start compressing based on the sound that comes from my headset over here so i hope i hope you like this video i hope it makes sense to you and it helps you in your streaming somehow or at least recording because uh, i'd kind of help to whatever time with what i'm doing so i'll see you in the next one